Oh, wants to bite me. I'm actually going to get chomped. Ready? One, two, three. Ah, he's biting me. Oh, he's got me good. Mm. Ah, he's, he's, he's latched. He's latched. Ah, 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 he won't let go. Ah, won't let go. Oh, got one. Oh, yeah. Woo, yeah. This, believe it or not, is one of the most famous creatures ever featured on the Brave Wilderness channel. That's right, the original Bloodworm video now has over 73 million views. But in that original adventure, we did leave a few things on the table that are definitely worth revisiting. Namely, the venomous bite of this creature. Actually, did Coyote take a bite? Ow! Oh. Yay! Did it bite you? He got me! <laughs> I got that! He got me! I felt it! It was a little pinch! Let me see. Where'd he get you? Right there. Right in the crux of my finger. I think we can do better than just a pinch for one of the world's only venomous worms. In fact, we learned something very important about this creature between the last adventure and today that's going to help us achieve a bite on camera. But before I go getting myself chomped, for this new bloodworm experiment, we need to find a whole lot more worms than just this one. Let's keep digging. Bloodworms hunt for prey in the tidal mudflats of both the Atlantic and Pacific coasts of the United States and Canada. They have also earned the nickname sludge worm since their habitat consists of thick mud and quicksand that can easily swallow your boots whole. To find these slimy predators, worm diggers use special rakes to quickly peel back mud and reveal worms on the move that could be sold as prize fishing bait. And while they can be difficult to find, some of the best worm diggers in Maine can collect up to 1,000 worms a day, with the largest ones growing up to 15 inches long. After hours of digging and covered head to toe in mud and sweat, we fill the bucket and set the stage for one of the worst bites we've ever filmed. Welcome to the blood worm bite table. What I have in front of me here are five very large blood worms. No, these are not your granddad's night crawlers, folks. These are natural born killers. Armed with four venomous fangs and an appetite to match, we have been told that these worms pack one heck of a bite. Some people say that it's like a bee sting, and locals have even told us that they've seen worm diggers crawling out of the mud flats in near tears from being bitten by these carnivorous worms. But there is one key piece of information that we learned from the original bloodworm video to today, and that is you can actually head a blood worm. Similar to how a herpetologist would head a venomous snake to keep it from biting them, I will actually attempt to grab the proboscis once it shoots out and then intentionally inflict my first bite. And yes, I said first bite. There's gonna be more than one. Now what I'm going to try to do is head the proboscis, and while I'm attempting to do this, let's review some of the most interesting facts about this bizarre marine oddity. The bloodworm is a venomous segmented worm that hunts invertebrates and other marine creatures. Armed with four razor sharp fangs and a projectile mouth called a proboscis, they are voracious predators and are as aggressive as they are bizarre. One of the most shocking things about these worms is how normal they can appear and then in a split second transform into one of the most alien looking life forms you've ever seen. And as if this wasn't creepy enough, things get even worse. Once the bloodworm has its prey ensnared in those hooked jaws, it will inject it with a paralyzing venom that incapacitates the victim so it can be digested and eaten alive. This venom is chemically similar to that of a scorpion and is known to cause severe reactions in humans, including burning, tissue damage, and anaphylactic shock. Please do not attempt what you're about to see. Oh, almost got it. Ah, I missed it. Oh, 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 come on. All right, I got it. Oh, wants to bite me. That is the proboscis of one of the biggest blood worms I have ever seen. Holy moly, that's over a foot for sure. Okay, time to get bitten by one of the only venomous worms on the planet, the blood worm. Got a good hold on it. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, God, he's on me. Oh, 
look at that. Ah, he won't let go. Ah, he won't let go. Ah. Oh, he's in. Go, oh, he's really on there, guys. I can't get him off. Ah, he's biting me. Oh, he's got me good. Yeah, he got me. Ah, oh, man, didn't break the skin. It was definitely latched into me, but its fangs I don't think are long enough to break the skin of my finger. I wonder if I try on a softer part. Let's try my wrist. It's a little bit thinner there, uh, a little bit softer. All right, here we go. Let's go in for the second bite on three. One, two, three. Oh yeah. Oh, yep, see him tug on the skin. Ah, oh, he's, he's, he's latched, he's latched. Ah, yeah. Mm. Oh, I can't get him off. Mm. Mm. Yeah, he's got me. You see that? Ah, oh, keep rolling, keep rolling. I'm gonna try to pry him off. Mm, he's really latched on. Mm. Come on, let go, let go. Ah, oh, he won't let go. Ah, oh, he won't let go. Gotta get him off. Ah. Oh. Oh yeah, that was a full on blood worm bite. Boy, that burns. Gosh, you get that shot? Got Those it. fangs were all the way latched in. Oh. Oh, that burns. Ooh, man, yes. You can see that there wasn't much blood produced from the bite, but I've got blisters forming and that's likely due to all the inflammation and swelling. I feel it in the nervous system. My wrist is screaming right now. Super painful burning sensation. A lot like a wasp or a bee sting. It's those fangs are like little talons and it just grabbed right through the skin and did not want to let go. They were like barbs on a fishing hook. They were just in there. And really, I wasn't able to get the worm off until it decided to relax a little bit and I pried it back. But those fangs are definitely sharp enough Yikes, that hurt. Now that we've witnessed what a single blood worm is capable of, let's see what happens when I submerge my hands in over a hundred of them. Do blood worms hunt in packs? We're about to find out. 